Hello, Matthew Glass, Glass Water Systems here again, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to program a Clack WS1 valve, also known as a Nelson C series, or a Watts brand valve, or a Charger Pro H2O. It has many names, but it is a Clack WS1, easy to program, great piece of equipment, probably one of the best water softeners out there. First of all, when you turn it on, it's going to be blinking the time of day. Okay, when you want the time of day, you first want to change it. So you're going to change it to the correct time of day, which right now it's 1022. Time is set. So we're going to put set clock, up, down arrow buttons until it's the actual time, 1022. You punch next, you set the minutes, up, down, punch set clock, all done. Now that's the first thing you've done. You've got to make sure that the clock is set. Then the next you're going to do is you're going to punch next and up at the same time, holding it down. And you're going to see that it comes up first, hardness. You want to set whatever your hardness is. Our hardness here ranges uh, in Tampa, Florida between 15 and 20. I'm going to leave it at 20. Then you're going to punch next. Regeneration days. This is the day's override, so if you don't use enough water and the prescribed period of time, it's going to regenerate anyway. It's set on 14 as a default. If you're on city water, set it to 14. If you're on well water, I always recommend that you set it to 10 or 7. All right, for this case, we're going to set it for 7 because you want your unit to at least regenerate weekly. Then punch next. It's going to have regeneration time. This is what time the unit's going to actually regenerate. It's going to regenerate at 2 a.m. when nobody's using water. If you work, let's say you, you're up at 2 o'clock taking a shower, you can always set that up or down but you need about 90 minutes to complete the cycle. All right, so I'm gonna punch next, and that's gonna lock it in. Go back to the time of day again. Now, I'm gonna hold next and down at the same time. That's gonna show me softening. You can punch up, it's gonna to go to filtering. If you have a filter valve, or to softening. For this case, we're leaving it on softening. Then you're gonna punch next, and it's gonna have post fill. You can either post fill your brine tank, which means you're going to fill it as a last cycle, or you can pre-fill it with treated soft water. We usually recommend post fill because it's, it's, it's a little bit easier to control and brine takes a little bit of time to make. So we usually post fill things, but if you want to pre-fill it, you can always set it to that. Then we punch next and you have a P24. You can't do anything with that. That's a factory setting. You're going to go next, you're going to have your capacity. It'll go whatever capacity you want, from one to whatever, 205,000 grains. It said 48 times 1,000. So this is set up for a 48,000 grain unit, which is a cube and a half unit, which is what this is, so we're gonna leave it at that. Punch next, number of pounds of salt. All right, it's usually 15 pounds of salt on an economical basis to 18 pounds of salt on maxing out a cubic foot of resin. Uh, to get it to regenerate. So in this case, we have a 10 by 54 unit. If we want to maximize the amount of salt, we're going to do 18 plus another nine, we're going to do 27 pounds, okay? If you have any questions about that, feel free to email us about it on the settings on your water saw. Then we're going to punch next. It's got auto zero. That means when you hit zero gallons or your reserve, which is usually about 200 gallons, it's going to regenerate that night at 2 o'clock in the morning. And then next, you have regeneration. You have normal on zero, normal on zero. We usually like to leave it on normal. Again, there's other ones that will allow you to regenerate after you stop using water for 20 minutes. I don't like using those. Back to the time of day. The unit is set. You know, you're all set. Turn on your water. Go to town. That's it. Thank you. If you have any questions, call us 1-877-345-2770 or email us at glasswatersystems at msn or yahoo.com. Thank you and have a great day.